Hello and welcome. Uh, the title of this video uh, may not make sense. I wasn't really sure how to word it. But basically what we're going to be looking at today is um, searching through the processes that are running on our machine and grepping the uh, certain processes but avoiding grepping grep. So this is a, a common trick. You may have seen this, but just in case you haven't, I'm doing a video on it. So usually I use the command PS and usually with the um, AUX arguments to list out all the processes running on my machine. And let's say I wanted to find the process information on the process. I have uh, a program open called Eureka, uh, which is a Doom level editor. I'm going to go like this and type grep and I can start typing Eureka, like so. I can type partial the word, all the whole word, depending on you know what processes I have running and how I want to narrow it down. But whether I type part or whole, you notice that I get two processes and only one of them is the actual uh, program. One of them is my grep command. So uh, we're running this command, the PSAUX command, and it's finding the process of grep, which we're using. And we'll find that every time because whatever we search will show up in the list. So how do you avoid that? Well, it's simple. Uh, you need quotation marks and brackets. We'll just put brackets around the first letter there and quotation marks around the whole thing. And now we get only the process. This is actually the Eureka program. Uh, why does this work? So what we're using here is what's called a regular expression. Regular expression is uh, characters that are used to, um, how do you word this? Um, represent a range of characters and normally you can use these brackets to put multiple characters in there and it will find those multiple characters so let's say I wanted to grep for uh, bat, hat, and cat uh, but avoid um, another word that uh, I could put those letters in these brackets and narrow it down so how does that, why does that work here well because now our grep command it's looking for Eureka, it's looking for E followed by U-R-E-K-A. But when it shows up in the command up here in our uh, grep, it doesn't, it isn't spelt like that. So it's not seeing the word Eureka here because of these brackets and that's why that works. So that's just a, a quick and simple tip. Uh, very short tutorial here, but it's something that we're going to be using in uh, coming videos, so I wanted to do a tutorial on it on itself. But again, basically, grep is looking for lines of processes that have the word Eureka, and this line normally has it, but now doesn't because these brackets are here, making this a new word as far as the search is concerned. Thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.